thanks for inviting me. Um, this is where I grew up in western Oklahoma. We watched the weather, we prayed for rain. Um, my father was very much into organic ranching, even before it was a cool thing to do. Um, this is a piece that I did just from the photograph I took west of the house. And this is east of the house, so you kind of get a feel of the location. It's desolate and quiet. This is the piece, that I guess, that brought me here. This is at Dallas Love Airport. Um, it's 18 feet high and 64 feet long. I went down on the uh, White Oak Bayou when I found out the time was for this, and I photographed the wildflowers from the bottom up so I could have them bigger than you are. But I'm going to tell you about the process. If you are working for a nonprofit or you're working with someone that wants to incorporate public art into it, um, this will give you a little bit of ideas, um, give you a few more details of this, I guess, before I get into the process. These are um, certainly larger than life size. This is the proposal. And this is my first sketch. These are uh, this part of it, and this is the board. This part of it was created in Photoshop from the photograph I took of the native uh, flowers. And this was a detail. Uh, this was a sample of the mosaic. And this is how it would look in the space. So once I created um, that, that got me the job. There was, I think, five or six artists from uh, international artists that were shortlisted for the project. They had a jury of professional artists, uh, architects, and city officials to decide who got it. I, if you are going to put together a jury for public art, it's really, really, really important to put all professionals on it. I'm shortlisted for, I'm, I've got the commission now. I was shortlisted, now I have the commission. And it's only elementary school teachers, and it has been a nightmare. <laughs> because there's not somebody there that says, yeah, you're doing the right thing, or, you know, they're just constantly second-guessing. Um, and I also have been on juries, and um, having that diverse group of the architect who understands the space, the um, 